Hi, this is Minik from Boxcar Marketing with your one minute marketing tip. And today's tip is about how to tag links of your email and banner ad campaigns so that they show up in Google Analytics. In Analytics, once you get this all set up, it appears under traffic sources and um, sources and then campaigns. So what you need to tag are things that are not auto-tagged. So in Google AdWords, if you have auto-tagging enabled, then you don't need to tag the URLs of your AdWords campaign because Analytics is going to do that for you. In things like MailChimp or Campaign Monitor or Constant Contact for your email newsletters, there is a way to link up or enable your analytics so again that is automatically tracked. But in some cases you have an email campaign or an email that is generated through your the, the back-end system of your website and those things may or may not be able to um, provide you campaign data. So, for example, maybe you have an email that goes out to clients that is like a tell 10 friends form on your website and the email that arrives to people has a link that they too could tell 10 friends. So those particular links, if they're system generated from your website, may not be able may not be tracked in analytics under campaigns and it'd be really helpful if it was tracked under campaigns because then you would be able to see which traffic is coming to your site from those particular email campaigns versus say uh, another type of of email or forward to a friend style email that is happening outside of things that you're already tracking. The same is true if you have banner ads on a bunch of different websites you want to be able to track and understand what traffic you are acquiring from those various campaigns so that you can create goal reports that will show you which campaigns convert the highest on your site, which ones bring the most traffic that has the most value to you. So the way that you do this is with the URL builder and I'll post in the description field the direct link to that but it, if you just search Google URL Builder, you'll find it. And it's a way to generate a URL that is going to tag the campaign source, the medium, and if you want things like the campaign term or the content or the campaign name. So, for example, if you have a banner ad that is on, say, the National Post or the New York Times, then in this little URL Builder form, you're going to enter into campaign source New York Times or National Post, whatever the source of that campaign is. Under Medium is things like, is this a banner? Is this email? Is this other pay-per-click keywords that you're bidding on? Things that are, again, not auto-tracked already through AdWords. Um, campaign term would be things like, this is for our Vancouver um, audience versus this is for our Ottawa or Toronto audience or our San Francisco audience term for an email campaign, if it is uh, specific to a month, you might put in the month of that email campaign. Uh, campaign content would be if the ad copy on that banner ad is different for version A, version B, version C, you might put in whatever the headline is as that ad so that you have a better idea of which ad was was driving the best content because if you have three different ads that are showing up on um, US, USA Today, then you want to know which of those three ads or which size of ad. You can, you can specify that within the campaign content. And then campaign name, perhaps you have a particular product or service that you are um, pitching in that particular ad, or maybe this is part of you know, the, the Got Milk campaign or whatever you have titled your campaign name. Same thing in email, you're going to put whatever the campaign source is. So maybe it's the Tell 10 Friends uh, auto email source. You're going to create a name for that source. And then campaign medium will be email. And then term, again, will be, you can leave it blank if, if it doesn't make sense to complete that. Or you'll 
you know, just put in the month or whatever the term period is when that campaign is running and campaign name you want to assign it, some type of name, so you may call it Tell Time Friends so that you can, in various reports, look at each of those fields differently. I'm Nick from Boxcar Marketing and that is your one minute marketing tip on tagging your campaign so that you can get that data more clearly in Google Analytics by using the Google URL Builder. Thanks, bye.